What's up guys, Technicals here. This is an addendum to the previous video I did about lowering the power levels on my S19J Pros using Brains OS. I had a little more time, so I was going for to see how efficient I could get them on Brains OS using their auto tuning feature. I got some amazing results. Uh, so we're gonna take a look at where the sweet spot is. And I think my end conclusion probably isn't what you're expecting. On the Technicals, let's get into it. The Technicals. Before that, this video brought to you by Primo Chill's Praxis Wet Bench. Because until I get a real sponsor, I'm just going to promote things that I like. Link in the description below. All right, so if you saw the previous video, I was all happy-go-lucky moving uh, my S19J Pros down to 2700 watts, 2800 watts. But I had a little more time to experiment with it. Uh, I'm going out of town, so I wanted to put everything into low power modes just so I don't have to worry about it as much. Now I know I've said before that before the halving, I think you should go balls to the wall and, and accumulate as much Bitcoin as you possibly can, not really being going for efficiency right now, but be going for maximum yield. So uh, I played with this a little bit to find out, well, you know, if I was getting the, virtually the same results at 2,700, 2,700, 2,800 watts uh, as I would with 3,050 watts, then you know what's that variation there what is the sweet spot so i did some more testing on the s19j pros you're gonna to have to give me a little bit of rope here if you find that there's some errors or some bad assumptions based on this data then keep your mouth shut i don't care i'm just kidding leave a comment below so what i did starting with 3050 as the stock setting 3050 was yielding me about comfortably 102 watts per s19j pro i have two uh, and so I went down from there. Now the difference between each wattage setting is not static. It's not like I went down by 100, 100, 100. I thought that I could kind of jump all over the place and just kind of assemble the data. And as you can see here, just jumping to the conclusions that uh, watts actual over speed, it appears to be sort of a, a linear um, progression uh, as evidenced over here in this chart. Now, you see there's kind of a plateau effect that seems to be taking place. Now, I could get nitty gritty with it and leave it running for an extended period of time. But I think this is kind of just sort of telling enough to uh, to draw some conclusions. So uh, down here at the uh, at the 1800 watt setting, it looks like we were getting uh, actual watts used 1732 and the terahash comfortably is at least a 15 minutes that I let it run around 72 terahash. So going through my columns here, I know it's a little kind of weird, but this is this is uh, technicals does excel. Watts per terahash 23.8. So great efficiency down there at the 1800 level. Uh, the total watts saved from stock, over 1300 watts saved from the stock level. Power use versus stock, you're getting 50, uh, you're only using 57% of what you would at the stock setting. Terahash lost, you're not achieving, you're not getting that 30 extra terahash. Terahash versus stock, you're only making 71% of it. Over here we go back up, it's sort of an ascending thing. So watts from previous level, uh, from the 1800 setting up to the 2000, uh, the actual wattage used at the 2000 setting in the auto tuner, uh, it was using 200 additional watts and it was yielding an additional 4.73 terahash. So uh, the watt per terahash delta uh, being 42 watts per terahash. So if you wanna compare that to the overall efficiency of the machine, it seems like it's not worth it to throw that extra 200 terahash. That, the data I was really going for is to whether or not, you know, how much extra can I tweak out of it to make it worthwhile. In the end, the efficiency, does the efficiency matter that much more than what you're actually yielding? If we swap back over to our uh, our chart here, you can very clearly see uh, what to mind the total revenue at the stock setting as of right now, 3050 watts, 102 terahash. What to mind says our revenue is gonna be $8.25, $8.25 a day, and the total profit being 93 cents. You move down from there through my list, 2700 watts, 2400, 2300, 2250, et cetera, and you can see the total revenue kind of following a linear path, but the profit, not so much. The profit seems to sort of plateau a little bit, and you can see I plotted it here in watts versus profit, and uh, you can see that. Uh, so kind of a, a, a plateau effect here, and then it kind of jackknifes up a little bit, and then it falls down into uh, to, to hell uh, with that stock setting. So this one here, this plot, uh, 2,700 watts, yielding a buck 88 in profit per day. And it continues down from there. So again, as I've said before, my strategy, especially before having, is to accumulate as much Bitcoin as possible. You could run efficiently, and I think that's a good strategy if you're financing your electricity out of the proceeds of mining, because 
hey, you can only float electricity costs for so long. Are you willing to float it for a year, two years, until the next bull run, until Bitcoin maybe goes two, three X? Or, or whatever, uh, that really, you know, your risk tolerance is coming to play there on what you think Bitcoin's gonna do and how much you really think it is gonna do that because, you know, if you think that Bitcoin's going to a million dollars, then you would float electricity costs indefinitely until it does that because it's gonna, you know, be worth that. Well, maybe not at this point, that's only, you know, what, to 20X. Point being is that, you know, if you are financing your electricity costs out of the proceeds from mining at some regular interval, weekly, monthly, quarterly, yearly, something like that, then yeah, you probably wanna look heavier into efficiency. But my strategy, because I'm a microscopic farmer now, is uh, t to hang on to the stuff and wait for it to moon. Because realistically, I think maybe on the next bull run, Bitcoin's going 3X, maybe four. Um, I don't know what kind of time horizon it is. Maybe it's two years from now, I'm not sure. But at that point, it, especially now before this halving, makes absolute sense to accumulate as much as I possibly can because my electricity costs will be sunk, will be fixed, they won't scale with it. Now, if we were going for just raw efficiency, then you know I would say that it's certainly somewhere in the middle. I couldn't figure out in Excel how to do a standard deviation graph, and I'm not sure it would really that really really applies, but um, looking at you know the total watts actual over speed, you see this linear progression and then this plateau. So anything below this 2,700 watts, we didn't do 2,800 because I'm making the assumption that it's gonna be in line. It's not gonna go over what the 3050 was, even with Brains OS running. Uh, we assume that it's gonna be somewhere in there because that's where all the other plots are landing. So, you know, that at that point it becomes, okay, well, you know, what am I comfortable making my total electricity cost be every month? Depends on how many miners you have. And again, this is just for Bitcoin, because if you're mining something else with an ASIC, you know, you mine Bitcoin with SHA-256 ASIC. Sure, you can mine some of those other things, or put on ice hash or whatever, uh, but really this is kind of easier to apply out, in my opinion, because you're only mining one coin. Watts versus profit, that's all over the place, and I think a lot of that has to do, because the linear progression is not as clean here, was really just me not giving it enough time to settle out and develop a long-term average. So if I let this run for a day, I presume that it would have landed somewhere in that line, but because I'm only letting it run 15, 30 minutes, because the tuning process, once you change, uh, once you change it in brains, it's a good 30, 45 minutes for it to run through that process completely. So at that point, you're like, I got to build this data. Um, I'm assuming that once I let it all run out, this is the assumption uh, that it would follow sort of a linear path. So looking at watts versus profit, I want to keep the wattage as low as possible. Uh, but my profit as high as possible. So, you know, in there, I'm thinking it's probably somewhere in the middle. And then the question comes into play, the original reason why I wanted to turn my mining machines down, uh, turn the power down, is because I'm not gonna be able to get to them as quickly and I just kinda would have more peace of mind having them at a lower level. So, I'm thinking that 2700 that I was originally pretty happy with is probably gonna be in the range of where I wanna be. I only ran a 2400 between there, so I think maybe one more time, I'm gonna run a 2600, and if I find that's within the line of all these other scatters, then that's probably where I'm gonna to wanna to hang out. Now, if I find that I'm not really yielding that much more over the 2400 mark, then certainly I'll go down to 2400. Or maybe if I just want extra, extra peace of mind, then I'll go down a little bit more. But in the end, revenue dollars matter uh you know I, I understand a lot of people think that bitcoin's going to become the world currency and all other currencies will go away and that if you have 0.1 bitcoin then you're going to be the next jeff bezos i don't believe that i know I'm, I'm after dollars because my mortgage company doesn't take bitcoin as payment so again looking at the total dollar yield at the end revenue sorry um because i'm floating electricity that's super duper important to me and as you can see here again it's somewhat of a, a linear progression you know we're, we're, we're going up here in you know, the eights and it doesn't that jump from 2700 watts up to 3050 up to the stock setting 819 versus 825 not really not really worth it i'm not as concerned with profit because you know that would be a more clear answer to stay at the 2700 but because i'm floating electricity that isn't as important to me as just the raw revenue, the, the raw amount of Bitcoin in dollars that I'm taking in on a day-to-day -day basis, especially before having. But without a doubt, the star of this show is Brains OS. Oh my God, can you imagine if this thing was around five years ago? It would've been fantastic. Uh, Brains, like I said, really earning that death fee. The, this versus Antminer's stock firmware, 
um, just just fantastic. You can you know being able to monitor these things and run that auto tuner and not have to really get into the nitty gritty. Now I'm sure you can and achieve even better results, but for an idiot like me, I just put in the number I want and it makes it happen. How easy is that for the small deaf fee? I actually might start mining on Brains Pool uh, over via BTC because you know the, the cash out process there is going to cost me you know like what 30 bucks just to get my Bitcoin off of via BTC. I may go just go to Brains Pool or Ant Pool even. Uh, because you know this is just fantastic what they're doing so I hope to encourage them if you've got an S19J Pro an S19K or whatever that their firmware supports highly recommend you check out Brains OS um, just for this feature now I'm not experienced with the other uh, Bitcoin or the other uh, you know ant miner firmwares that are out there I know there are a few uh, Hive OS makes one uh, but I'm, I've, I've not seen anything on the YouTubes of the tuning that Brains is able to do. Now, if you know and you use one of those other programs and you're getting even better results on specifically an S19J Pro, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to check it out, maybe run a head to head. But as of right now, this S19J Pro at 2400 watts making 90 tera hash, uh, you know, 102 is stock at, uh, at 3050 watts. So uh, the estimated efficiency, 25.88. Fantastic, uh, you know, if we going back to our list here, um, you know, at the stock setting, it was 29.9 uh, watts per terahash at the stock setting in Brains OS. So, you know, it, it may have been even been a little bit higher on that stock firmware, uh, but everything in the 25 range, when you get down to 2000 watts or 1800 watts, you're looking in the 24 and even 23, kissing into the 23 watts per terahash range. Um, really just fantastic now it's not gonna it probably never achieve the uh, efficiency of the s21 uh, but can you imagine if brains came out with s21 firmware i hope you're working on that brain because i'd love to see that number go even lower uh, but right now incredible efficiency I'm, I'm happy i'm content because i'm drawing less power and i'm yielding maximum bitcoin which is my goal right now especially before the halving Highly recommend you check out Brains OS. So if you like this sort of detailed layout of uh, testing different wattages on the S19J Pro or other ASICs, you be, please feel free to send me an ASIC and I'm glad to test it. Uh, but let me know in the comments below if you guys like this sort of thing. Uh, again, if you have an S19J Pro and you're running Brains or something else, let me know in the comments below because I'd love to know if there are better uh, efficiencies out there that I can get that can yield me you know, maximum revenue as well. Appreciate you guys watching this this far into the video on the technicals. See you next time. Stop recording.